in the last few months we have seen huge announcements by government of canada many updates which indicated that they want to reduce immigration in canada and of course this was very disappointing for a lot of temporary residents whether they were international students whether they were on work permit so in this huge wave of updates there has been one update that was announced last week which would bring smiles to many of your faces and in this video we are going to talk exactly about that in detail so this temporary policy was announced last week and it is for all those people who want to apply for a new work permit or maybe they want to apply for an extension of their work permit we will talk in detail about the new policy in this video before we start talking about this policy in detail just a quick disclaimer i am not an immigration consultant or a registered immigration lawyer this video is purely for information purpose if your case is complicated or you need some support to file your application you can contact any rcic registered immigration consultant or a lawyer in this channel i've never promoted any services like that okay so now when you understand that let's just quickly discuss about this policy in the last few months we have seen a lot of protest hunger strikes by international students or recent graduates in provinces like prince edward island in manitoba in um, cities like brampton surrey and a majority of these strikes had one demand they wanted a pathway to permanent residency and hence this temporary public policy would help a lot of those people achieve their dreams of staying in canada for longer and eventually getting closer to their permanent residency so this policy aims primarily three types of people number one people who hold a valid work permit and maybe it may be expiring in the next few months number two all those people whose work permit was valid as of 7th of may 2024 and after that it expired and number three who are on implied status for their work permit so if you want to apply for a work permit or an extension for your current work permit you probably would need two different types of documents which is most crucial for this announcement number one a support letter from the province and number two a letter from your employer so there's this one caveat that we need to take care of the province where you're residing and working you need a letter from them that they endorse you as a part of their pnp application process so as i told you this video is to provide information and awareness about this policy so please don't let anyone fool you that this policy would facilitate work permits for everyone no not everyone would be getting an extension of the work permit or a new work permit due to this policy they have stated it very clearly that this policy would facilitate work permits for prospective pnp candidates and not everyone would get that support letter from the pnps so for many of you it might be easier to get that letter for some of you it might be difficult to get that letter and for some it might almost be impossible to get that support letter from the province if you are not eligible for any of the streams of that pnp program so the situation would be different for different people depending on where you reside what pnp programs and different streams they have in that province so now when you understand some of these basic details and also that you need those two letters now we can get into the details of understanding this public policy better this is the temporary public policy it is available on the government of canada website interesting thing to note here is that this was actually signed which means it was applicable as of 11th of august but it was only published on the website on the 27th of august now here they have clearly outlined three different conditions if your situation is also falling into one of these conditions then you'd be eligible for this open work permit so the first condition is for all of those people who hold a valid work permit of course you'd be submitting the application for the new work permit then after that you need that support letter that support letter needs to be coming from the pnp outlining that you have been screened by the pnp and has been placed in an expression of interest pool or maybe a pnp file is in progress then you would also need a letter of employment from your current employer as well that support letter is not the only document 
you'd also need a letter of employment from your current employer as well. Okay, if your work permit has already expired, then you may fall in the second category. Your work permit expired after 7th of May. In that case, you may have submitted an application for a new work permit or maybe an extension. In that case, you may have submitted an application for a new work permit or maybe an extension. In that case also, you would need that support letter and also the letter of employment from your current employer. Now the third case is for all of those people who might be an implied status, which means that your work permit extension applications remains pending or approved. So same thing for them as well. You must have submitted that application and also you must have a support letter and a letter of employment from your current employer. Now very important thing to note here is that this public policy will expire on 31st of December 2024. So just four more months to go. All right, guys, thanks a lot for watching this video. If you like the video, please click the thumbs up button. If you have any comments, any feedback, then please put it down in the comment section below. And also, if you haven't subscribed the channel yet, please click the subscribe button before moving on to the next video. Thanks again.